Hey, what's up, guys? Max Fisher here from A Better Universe. So, today, guys, want to touch on uh, want to touch on burnouts, getting burnt out. And I want to talk about uh, what other people think of you. I'll see if I can get them all together in one. Might have to break it up into two. Never know. But here we go, dude. To all those dudes, dudettes. Uh, yeah. Burnout, guys. There's there's a certain point. People say you're overtraining. You're gonna get burnt out. Or you start working at a job and it's great and it's all good. And you just you know you get burnt out. You're tired. You're done of it. You're you just tired of the same old, same old. Sometimes you focus on something for so long and you just get burnt out. What is that burnout? What does that happen? Where did that original motivation, that enthusiasm, where did all that go? That's the thing, guys. You don't get burnt out. You lose that drive, which leads to your burnout. Because when you're driven, when you're influenced at a deep inner core level, you don't get burnt out. You don't lose your purpose. That's the thing. You don't have the purpose. You lost that vision. Why was it so easy? Why were you so enthusiastic, so motivated, so determined to get it done when you first started? That honeymoon period, you were just getting it, grinding it all the way through. What happened? You lost your vision. You started to settle. You started to say, well, that goal's a little too high, let me knock it down. Well, that's a little too high, let me knock it down. Well, that's a little too short of a time frame. I mean, take it on another year. Take it on another so. You start to lose that excitement. It starts to just look like a like a mess, like chaos, like something that's unachievable, unimpossible, impossible. And you just start lowering your goals. And then the vision lose all loses all of its compellingness. Maybe you just forget. Maybe you just maybe it's just gone. At first you started and now you're just going through the motions. You don't have it clear in your mind. What's wrong? What happened? That's the thing. You had a compelling vision. That's what got you motivated. That's what touched you at your heart. You lost that vision. Now it's time to look back on it. You have to keep that vision in front of you guys. You don't want it in the back. In the back of your mind. You don't want it to come up every now and again. You want it to be right there, guys. Think of it as the windshield. You're always looking out front. You might pop up, look behind you real quick. Just check for any uh, any inconveniences, any dangers behind you. Focus right forward. Keep that focus forward. You only take a quick look behind you to check for hazard. And you keep your focus forward. You keep that vision in front of you the whole time. You got to start doing that daily. You start doing that daily, you'll find that the burnout doesn't come. You just build momentum. It gets bigger and stronger and more things start to click and those wheels of the cog, they start to turn. This is where it comes down to it, guys. You can have all the philosophy in the world, all the knowledge, all the all the everything, but if you don't apply it, if you don't, you can find out the best tricks, you can find all the commonalities and everything, but if you're not applying it, if you're not making your life better every single day and using all these tricks and hints and whatever you can look up the most successful people in the world you'll never become them if you don't apply if you don't take that action and the more action you take the better it becomes and the more you hone your skill and define your art master your craft the better you become the closer you become to that person that you want to be because ultimately that's what got you started somebody that you're not and you're compelled to be them don't lose that vision, guys. Start writing down your goals every day, morning, noon, and night. That's too much. At least morning before you go to bed. Let that subconscious mind start to work. Start your day, check. I'm going to get this done. Check, check, check. This is what I'm after. This is what I'm going for. My day needs to plan out. So eventually this will be my outcome. Don't dilly-dally around with things. If it's not hell yes, it's a no. If you're doing stuff and you're like, eh, that might get me closer. That's not it, no. Take that out. That's gotta go. The old you will never get you to be that new person that you wanna be. 
got to start looking, determining the outcome. At night, you're looking over your goals. You're letting that subconscious mind work while you sleep, planning your day out. Okay, I have to be here, here, and here. I have to do this, this, and this. All these are going to get me closer. These are the things I got to avoid. These are my bad habits. These are my flaws. These are, this is misleading me. You got to visualize, you got to feel it, you got to see it, you got to recognize all the good and the bad guys and you got to put it together in one package and a bunch of application, a bunch of action guys. That's how you get closer to your goal, that's how you define it, that's how you realize it, that's how you don't go through that burnout guys. Because once you're burnt out, that's hard. It's hard to get it back. You saw something that used to be you and you just all you can see it as right now is you know you lost your enthusiasm doing it. Maybe it wasn't for you, but it was. You just have to bring it back. You just have to see it as clear as you saw it before, guys. That's the idea here. Don't let other people tell you you're crazy. There's no way. Add 20 years to that. Lower your goals. Don't let them say that. If you start doing that, that just start a break in the cycle that you're going to continue. Habitual pattern of lowering your goals and adding time, lowering your goals and adding time before you know it. You're behind on your bills, behind on your dreams, doing things you don't want to do, becoming pe a person you don't want to be. That's not how you, we, we got to do it. That's not that. There's no, there's no realistic way to make that work. Keep that in mind, guys. I think I've rambled on long enough. We're gonna go in to what other people think, what other people say about you, criticism, constructive and negative. Next time when we talk, guys, we gotta think about it. Cause what they say about you doesn't matter. It's what you say about you that's gonna determine your outcome. This is Max Fisher here from A Better Universe, guys. Stay after it, stay hungry. Get after those dreams. Make them happen. You guys know where to contact me. My contact information is on my Facebook page, on the YouTube page. You guys can get in touch with me through uh, through Max Fisher, FSAO. All those great things, guys. My contact information is all spread out. If you want to sit down and have a chat, you want to talk motivation, you want to talk inspiration, you want to talk your vision, Goal setting, passion, whatever it is. I always like to have a nice little talk with people. Try and direct them in the right way. And through that, I also learn. You never know what kind of information you might have to bring to me. Alright guys, get in touch. I'll be waiting. Later.